Today we're removing the stereo from a 2006 to 2010 Honda Ridgeline. We're going to have to start by removing the entire front dash panel in order to get access to the car stereo. So we're going to set the parking brake, move the steering column to its full down position, place the key in the ignition, and shift to the lowest gear. This is going to give us a little bit of help when it comes to removing the front dash panel. We're going to move over to the far left bottom corner of the front dash panel and pry the panel from the dash. As you pry the panel from the dash, the clips will release and you'll work your way around the entire panel to release these clips. The stereo seen in the shop for the CD change are not working. We've also seen a reset may work on this one. And in order to do the reset, you will need your stereo code. If you need help with that, we have a video for uh, Honda radio codes at carstereohelp.com. But uh, disconnecting the battery for 5 or 10 minutes can, and then hooking the battery back up can cause the uh, CD changer to reset itself and start working. Now with all the clips released from the front panel, we can pull it back from the dash a little bit. Starting over below the car stereo at the back of the front panel is a connector that deals with the AC controls. There is a trigger on the bottom of it where you push into the connector and you're able to unlock it and remove it from its socket depending on the features determines how many connectors you may have in your car. At the top here between the opening for the AC vents and the gauges we have the wheel lock switch. You'll find a trigger on the side of this you can squeeze into the connector and remove. Below this one is the uh, select and reset switch which has a trigger on the side that you'll squeeze into it and release this. As well. We can move down to the bottom of the, the this panel below door light on off switch here that you'll locate the trigger on that and that'll remove it. We're going to move over to the left side of the steering column to the top of the panel and find the uh, dash light rheostat switch. This connector also will have a trigger on the side as you squeeze into the connector and remove. Uh, in this particular model below the dash light rheostat we have the roof switch and we're going to squeeze the trigger into that and remove that connector. Now we're going to move down to the far bottom left corner and release the connector from the headlight switch and the cargo light switch. Check the panel, be sure that everything is loose and there are no further connectors and lift it up over the steering column and place it to the side. There are three mounting screws down the left side of the car stereo. This is a Phillips or 8 millimeter and there are also three down the right side of the car stereo. This will allow you to pull a car stereo, the pocket and the emergency flasher switch from the dash and we're going to place it down so we can get access to the connectors on the back. All the connectors here in this removal are all keyed so you don't have to worry about marking them as to where they go back to. They will only fit one spot. Uh, the main blue connector here is the main power and speaker connector for the car stereo and we're going to work our way across and you will also uh, remove the antenna connector which is the furthest on the right. Now this will leave us a little bit more room so we can pull the stereo forward to get access to the emergency flasher switch. And we're going to release the trigger on that and remove that connector. This is how you remove the stereo from the uh, Honda Ridgeline. Uh, aftermarket, you're going to have to remove four mounting screws from each side. And uh, we suggest uh, using the su supplied hardware with your aftermarket stereo for depth reasons and mounting reasons. But you will need a kit a wire harness and an antenna adapter on this vehicle and it'll make it very simple. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.